and welcome to this special commencement edition of Montgomery College Today. I'm Elizabeth Homan. As you can see, it's quiet right now at Montgomery College. That's because after months of studying, final exams are over. For some Montgomery College students, it's also an end to their Montgomery College education and a time to celebrate graduation. This year, more than 2,000 students are earning their degree or certificate. They came from all over the world and all over Montgomery County to study here. I'm from Sri Lanka. Sweden. Cameroon. I'm from Ethiopia. I was born in New York City, but I've lived in Silver Spring, Maryland for 18 years. I was born in Ecuador. I was born in Washington, D.C. Originally, I was born in Liberia, West Africa, raised in this area. I'm from Maryland. I'm originally from Nigeria. I was born in San Francisco, um, and then I moved out here. I'm from Korea, South Korea. I'm from Olney, Maryland. I was born in California, Long Beach, but I'm from Damascus. I'm from France. I'm from Poland. I'm from the island of Trinidad in the Caribbean. I'm from Nigeria originally. I came from Pakistan. Originally, I'm from Nigeria. I'm originally from Lima, Peru. I live in Montgomery Village, but I'm from Ghana, South America. Originally, I'm from India. I'm actually originally from Monrovia, Liberia. I'm Trinidad and Tobago, and I'm from Tobago, the smaller of the two islands. I chose Montgomery College because I was accepted into an honors program here, and it's called the Montgomery Scholars Program. I knew that it would be perfect for me because I love the uh, small classes, the attention that I would get. I applied to the Scholars Program here, and um, it was a really cool program. So I decided to go ahead, and if I got in, to come here and then transfer somewhere, and that would help to save money, and I wanted to stay at home for two years. In my last year of high school, I really didn't know what I wanted to do or where I wanted to go. And I got accepted into a college, but I got accepted for spring semester, so I had to take some classes here. And I liked it so much that I stayed. The professors were really nice and it wasn't overwhelming and it just, I wanted to stay <laughs> instead of go over there, so I stayed. I chose Montgomery College because being an African student, someone just coming from Africa, it seemed like a place where I could, you know, feel at home and at the same time enjoy the, enjoy the cultural diversity. It was my son's suggestion. He said it was a good college, one of the best two-year colleges in the area and in the country also. A lot of his, um, stud his, uh, a lot of his fellow classmates are uh, coming here after high school. And so I said, well, I'll just wet my feet and see how it goes. I came here from uh, Philadelphia and um, I looked around I uh, did some investigation um, and uh, I realized that uh, Montgomery College is, was actually the best place to be. I finished high school not very, not very well. I mean, I graduated from Blair High School, but my grades weren't something to be proud of. I just, just didn't apply myself, so I figured I could come to Montgomery College and learn skills and learn to correct myself and find a direction that I needed to go. It was, it's close to where I live because of the recommendations of my friends, family, and high school staff, and the price and the opportunity to work and go to school at the same time. I served in the Marines until 2004, and I got out and decided this would be a good place to start. I hadn't been in school for four years, and I figured I could save money and also get a good education, and uh, so this is where I started out. The education opportunity that did not exist in my home country and when I first chose Montgomery College, it was a matter of convenience. So uh, that's what brought me here, but I discovered a whole lot more afterwards, so that's a whole different story. I actually chose Montgomery College because when I graduated from high school, I wouldn't have been accepted anywhere else. Um, I was a very poor high school student, and I actually thought when I graduated that maybe I didn't want to go to college. Maybe college wasn't the thing for me. Maybe I should just work. Um, but I had heard so many great things about Montgomery College from friends and coworkers that I decided to give it a try. And the things I found here, I would have never expected to find. And um, I, I'm so happy I decided to go here. Actually, it was the affordability at first because I was admitted to other schools. But comparing the prices, I was like, Montgomery College is the best choice right now. Because it's close to my house and they have like a lot of opportunities here. I live. Um in Baltimore and I did visit a few colleges. I was very impressed with Montgomery College. 
and uh, the health sciences program. I wanted to go to some place where um, basically there's a community, a small community, small class sizes, and I heard that this was in the top 10 in the country, so I wanted, I wanted a good education. And this is a wonderful place to be, it really is. It's met all my expectations and even exceeded it. I chose to go to Montgomery College because of the classes I started taking at the College Institute program at Wooten. I really enjoyed the small classes, the accessible prof professors and faculty, and the one-on-one -on -one attention. I think that I made the right choice because Montgomery College has truly presented me with endless opportunities. The cost per credit here is really reasonable. And two, I mean, this is home for me without the beach, the multi-ethnic blend. This is what I have back in my island, just, you know, no beach or sand nearby. So, I mean, it's functional. So I'm comfortable here. Soon, with their degrees and certificates in hand, Montgomery College graduates will be ready to change the world. Congratulations to the class of 2007. For Montgomery College Today, I'm Elizabeth Homan. Thanks for watching.